What's up, everybody? Welcome into another JHow Tech Tip, where we're going to show you how to set up goals, whether it's a donation goal, whether it's a follower goal, whether it's a bit goal, whether whatever it is, a sub goal, we're going to show you how to do it. It's going to be super easy using Streamlabs so that you can get one of those cool bars that you see everybody else using. So let's get into it. All right, first things first, you're just going to go into Streamlabs. Since we are using Streamlabs, this is where you want to go. On the left side of the screen, you're going to see all widgets. You're going to click on all widgets and it's going to bring up this page. So once you've logged in, got your Twitch account linked, you just come here and you go here. Now, this is a really easy process, but I understand some people don't really know how to go through the initial setup. So it's really easy. Let's say it's a donation goal. We'll start here. If you scroll down, you're going to see different things like follower goal, bit goal, and all kinds of different things, sub goal. And there's different ways you can utilize these, and they're pretty easy to set up. So let's assume that you're doing a donation goal. Let's say $50 donation and maybe you'll wear a wig on stream, who knows? Either way, here's where it's all done. Now, first things first, right in the middle here, click the show widget URL. We'll come back to this in a second. I'm not gonna share it, but I'll show you guys here in a second, okay? Doesn't matter what the title is, you can go here and you can say uh, cosplay goal. And that's what it is. Now, what's the amount? What's the amount that you're looking to hit? Is it 50? Is it 100? Is it 200? And so you can put that in and that's it. Starting amount zero. Let's assume that some people have already donated and you want to start from a base amount of 10. That's pretty easy to do. Then you put in your deadline. Let's say it's 11, 30, 2020. A good year, some would say, but probably not. Anyways, now you can go here. That's pretty much easy. That's all you have to do is you can start the goal. There's a settings tab. You can go here and it's going to show you the default here. And you can see this is kind of what you're probably used to. You can do standard. You can do condensed. Depends on how much real estate you want to take up on your screen. You can set it there. My sample goal. There you go. It's easy as that. You can change the colors. You can do all the different things. You can change the thickness here and do all the different things that you want to do. And it's really that easy. You hit start goal and that's it. Now let's go to the part where, how do I get it in OBS? How do I get this to show up? Well, it's quite simple, really. Click the show widget URL, not gonna do that. Just gonna hit copy. And then I'm gonna go into OBS. Now OBS has something called a browser source. And that's how you put in a lot of these things. It's kind of the same way as adding in sub notifications, all of the different things that you can do. You're gonna hit the plus sign in your sources. Once you hit the plus sign, you're gonna go up to browser. You'll click on browser and we'll just call this donation goal. We'll create a new one. I'll hit okay. Now, here's where the part, the important part comes in. That link that you just copied in Streamlabs is going to go right here in the URL section. I'll copy this in in just a second. You can adjust the size on this, do all kinds of different things, but mostly you're going to put your link in there and then you're just gonna hit okay. It's really that easy. So I went ahead, I put it in, and then I hit OK. And I, as you can see, it now displays as a source on mine. You want to make sure that it's above all of your other sources, else it's just going to be hidden behind, and you won't see it, and then that's not really good. So you're just going to make sure it's up at the top. And I mentioned the different sizing. You can change the size of it. You can grab the corners. You can change it put it anywhere you like, and that's how you set up a goal. And conveniently enough, that's the exact same way. If we go back into Streamlabs, the exact same thing exists. Sub goal, bit goal, you can go to your sub goal, you can do the same exact settings, except you have a few minor tweaks for sub goal, like subscriber goal as, a, as opposed to sub points goal. But it's really that simple as far as setting things up and making sure and just adding it in to your OBS. Now, the one thing is you will have to add this to each different scene. So if I have a couple of different scenes, I can put it in different places wherever I'm going, whatever my scenes are. I wanna switch to a different scene and then I go here and then I can click on the plus sign, click on browser. And then this time I can just do add existing, hit donation goal, and then put it wherever I want and just put it in different places in different scenes. And that's how you set up any type of goal through Streamlabs, whether it's a sub goal, donation goal, follower goal, whatever it is, it's really that simple. If this video helped you in any way set up your goals, feel free to hit that like button or leave a comment below letting me know what some goals that you have in mind that you're trying to set up and things that you're trying to achieve. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button for future tech tips and other content as well as it goes a long way to help the channel. If not, thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate it. Till next time.